seven, six, main engine start, four, three, two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Pluto to broaden our view of the universe through the Hubble Space Telescope. Hunter of black holes, discoverer of worlds, window to the universe. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has taken humanity on an incredible journey. Through the solar system, the Milky Way, and to the distant reaches of space and time. Staying on the cutting edge of astronomy means using the latest technology and Hubble was designed to take advantage of the newest gear. Hubble was originally designed to be serviced. It was originally designed so that it would be a long-lived observatory in space. Uh, that concept came from our understanding of how the great observatories on the ground have worked over the years. Space shuttle astronauts periodically visit Hubble in orbit, 350 miles above Earth, changing out old, outdated equipment for the newest, best cameras and hardware available. This view as uh, the orbiter is being maneuvered uh, again within uh, striking distance of the Hubble Space Telescope. In March 2002, astronauts aboard Space Shuttle Columbia visited Hubble on an ambitious mission to replace aging systems, revive a dormant camera, and install a remarkable new camera. This fourth visit gave Hubble a new look, more stability, and more power to run its systems, replacing the solar panels installed in 1993. We are now replacing them with solar arrays that have more power. The solar arrays that we took off have slowly degraded in power. And so the replacement that we're putting in is going to provide about 30% more power than today's solar arrays. After installing Hubble's new wings, the astronauts turned their attention to the telescope's internal electronics. The power control unit distributes electricity to all of Hubble's scientific instruments and internal systems. It is the heart of the Hubble Space Telescope, and because its performance had degraded after more than a dozen years of service, astronauts had to replace it. For the first time ever, they had to cut power to the Hubble Space Telescope. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, external power has now been shut off to the Hubble Space Telescope for the first time since its launch on April 24th, 1990. Hubble is without a heartbeat. Astronauts John Grunsfeld and Rick Linehan had to remove dozens of connectors that were never expected to be disconnected in orbit pull out the aging electronic power system and install a brand new one. The task took more than four grueling hours. Then to see if Hubble had survived the critical surgery, engineers at the Goddard Space Flight Center turned it back on. The uh, Space Telescope Operations Control Center has just relayed information to the payloads officer here in Mission Control that Hubble has a heartbeat. Telemetry being received back on the Hubble Space Telescope 
four hours and 24 minutes after power was cut to the observatory. With the power system overhauled, astronauts geared up for the mission's science objectives. Hubble's infrared camera, called NICMOS, had exhausted its coolant sooner than expected and stopped operating in 1999. The astronauts installed an amazing experimental refrigerator designed to cool NICMOS to its optimum temperature. The resurrected infrared camera lets Hubble peer through dust into star-forming regions in distant galaxies. The main goal was to install a new camera to give the telescope and humanity new eyes on the universe. The advanced camera for surveys. The advanced camera for surveys mission is clearly to pick up with it where the earlier cameras and imagers on Hubble have left off and dramatically expand the science that has been started with those earlier instruments. One of the scientific uh, advances that we will make or one of the frontiers that we will push back will that be looking back into the dawn of the universe to see galaxies emerging from what we refer to as the Dark Ages. And the Dark Ages is that time before star formation began. Astronauts Mike Massimino and Jim Newman installed ACS and a new electronic support module in a six and a half hour spacewalk. Mike Massimino is now uh, mating uh, the four electrical connectors for the new scientific instrument. And in a little bit. With that uh, soon to be completed, uh, that will complete the installation of the brand new scientific instrument, the advanced camera for surveys for the Hubble Space Telescope. Clean up, uh, thanks, Mike. Geared down and locked. Columbia wrapping up a 3.9 million mile mission to improve the power and the vision of the Hubble Space Telescope. The advanced camera promised to increase Hubble's vision by a factor of 10. I now have the pleasure of reporting to you that we have achieved that tenfold increase and more. The advanced camera gives Hubble and humanity a new window on the universe. This new window is the widest and clearest that Hubble has ever had. Looking through this window, we will search for the first generation of galaxies emerging from a twilight zone 13 billion years ago. Our pictures of these galaxies and all of those strung across the 13 billion years between then and now will show us how our own galaxy, the Milky Way, formed and grew into what we think of as home today. I think it is likely that astronomers will use the advanced camera to make discoveries that will change the way we view the universe. When we saw the first ACS images, my colleagues and I were stunned. We knew that the ACS would be good, but we had underestimated how extraordinary the images would be. And extraordinary they are. Thousands of galaxies in a field the size of a grain of rice against the night sky. Galactic crashes rendered in unprecedented detail. And star-forming nurseries of vast clouds of gas and dust, seen more clearly than ever before. With the advanced camera for surveys, the venerable Hubble Space Telescope is truly reborn.